uh, before we uh, came in here, some people asked me out in the lobby whether there was anything that could be done about reducing the amount of illumination in this room. And I was, and I was informed very emphatically that it's a law here that you got to have this much light on in this kind of a room. Now, you, I think it's stupid, and you think it's stupid, and the only people, even the policemen think it's stupid, but evidently, Good Lord, you... Anyway, we can't do anything about the lights in this place. They gotta keep a lot of lights on you because they know that if it gets darker than this, you Orange County teenagers get vicious. You hold hands, you kiss each other, and you rub various strange parts of other bodies in the dark. And Orange County mothers and fathers and members of the John Birch Society would not like to see that happen in a gymnasium. The only thing that you're supposed to do in a gymnasium is get sweaty and smell bad. But you can't do it rubbing somebody else's tits. Or peepees either. Up. All right, I have another announcement. Uh, due, due to an unfortunate circumstance, we will not have our normal 10-piece band here tonight. We have only nine pieces because Ian, our world-renowned alto saxophone player and Teen Appeal member of the combo, was afflicted with a terrible virus on the East Coast and is now lying on his back, coughing and sweating and being fed chicken soup at his girlfriend's house in New York. So he... So he missed out on the big Orange County gig. Lucky devil. This means that some of the tunes that we'll be playing tonight might sound a little weird because there's a part missing from them. You just imagine there's an alto sax in there playing the melody. Could the people who are standing directly in front of the PA speakers please move out of the way so that the, the sound gets out a little better? And, al and also be careful of the cables on the floor over there so that your feet don't light up. Okay, now we'll tune up and prepare to rock out for you. Okay, we're, hello. We're going to start off with a, uh, a very old song. It was originally recorded in 1956 by Andre Williams. And the name of the song is Bacon Fat. In fact, Bop. Okay. A giant vocal extravaganza. <laughs>
all uh, big in the back. Thank you. Still trying to get the sound adjusted so it sounds more teenage and appealing for you. The problem is the gymnasiums were not designed to have music played in them. They're for socks and people who like to jump around with balls and stuff. This is one of those songs that is bound to sound funny without the alto sax, but what the heck. This is a tune from our uh, new album, which is going to be out in a couple of weeks, called Uncle Me. It's an album of the music from the mother's movie of the same name. And the name of this piece is The String Quartet. What is it? String Quartet.
The name of this song is called The Wild Man Fisher Story. In the year of 1961, I did it all in fun. David! What, mother? Larry's in the bedroom, David, he's singing. Larry, are you singing? Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. Mother, I don't know what he's doing, but he's not singing. In the year of 1962, I got thrown out of school. Larry, you're not supposed to sing in class. What's wrong with singing in class? I'm sorry, Larry. I'm going to have to throw you out of school. In the year of 1963, I was committed to a mental institution. David, I don't know what we're going to do about him, David, but David, I don't know what we're going to do. Mother, I only want to sing. I'm sorry, Larry. Uh, in the year of 1964, I was released from the mental institution. I was really. Yeah, tell him. Mother, I'm back. I've changed, mother. I'm going to be normal. I'm going to go out and get a job. I'm going to be. I'm going to be all right. You'll see. I'm. Not, I'm going to do what you want. I'll be all right. Can I have this job, sir? Okay, you're hurt. Fisher, sing us a song. Sing us a song, Fisher. Yeah, sing us a song. I can't sing you a song. I'll get fired. Come on, Fisher, sing us a song. Fisher, sing me a song. Come on, let's merry go. Merry go, merry go round. Boo, 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 merry go. Merry go, merry go round. Boo, 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 merry go. Merry go, merry go round. You're fired. In the year of 1965, I was committed to the mental institution again. I'm sorry, Larry, but I'm only give this is your last chance. You haven't straightened out yet. You haven't had a job. I'm going to have to commit you again. In the year of 1966, I was released from the mental institution again. This time I'm going to be all right. I'm going to... Be normal, be all right. In the year of 1967, do you want to hear a new kind of song for a dime? Pardon me, sir, would you like to hear a new kind of song for a dime? Well, I'm, I'm sorry, man, I'm late for my next class. I can't. It just only costs a dime. Okay, go ahead. The leaves are falling. The leaves are what? In the year of 1968, have I made a mistake? Will I end up a bum? Will I end up a crumb? Will I end up in hell? Will I end up in jail? Will I end up in Jesus? Will I end up in trees? Will I end up wild man fisher, wild man fisher, Mary go, Mary. Mary. Larry is going to unveil for you now a new song that he has written called The Meanie. This is a song about why he doesn't like the Beatles. Right? <laughs> it's just a song. It's, it's the... Uh, oh, John. <laughs> Paul. <laughs> George. <laughs> Ringo. <laughs> Dylan. <laughs> I'm the meanie, I'm the meanie, I am wicked and vicious and stingy. I'm the meanie, I'm the meanie, the Beatles talk about me in their movie, movie. I once had a girlfriend named Sue, I took her out to the zoo. She told me she was pregnant, so I hit her in the stomach. I'm the meanie, I'm the meanie. I am wicked and vicious and stingy. I'm the meanie, I'm the meanie. The Beatles talk about me in their movie, movie. I once had a girlfriend named Tina. I took her out to the show. She told me she didn't love me anymore, so I hit her in the face. 
I'm the meanie. I'm the meanie. I am wicked and vicious and stingy. I'm the meanie. I'm the meanie. The Beatles talk about me in their movie, movie, movie. That's pretty good. I haven't heard that one before. Larry will be back in a few moments, boys and girls. Meanwhile, here's a few words from the Mothers of Invention. We accomplished this by taking two toilet paper rolls and stuffing them completely packed full and then putting a little funnel on the end of each one proceeded to smoke them before we went to the dance. We was tore to the core. And boy, if our parents knew we was doing that, it would piss them off. We would show them. We would get so wasted, we didn't even know who we were. You and me, Valerie, come on. Do you know what your name is anymore? No, I don't know, Reuben. Then, when we were really ripped, we jumped out of the sharp car, sharp car and went in to the gymnasium where they were holding the hop, a place similar to this, as I recall. And they had red and blue bulbs in the corner of the room, crepe paper drizzling down all over the walls, a punch bowl in the corner. And Alice Cooper. And Alice Cooper? It's a very strange stream of consciousness uh, synchronization there. Punch bowl, Alice Cooper. Investigate this boy. You live in Orange County? That's it. And then I tried to play with your tits and you hit me in the face. La 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 la. The name of this song is King Kong. It is also included in our new album. It occupies all of side four of the two record set. And uh, it's actually the story of a large gorilla. You all know the story, I'm sure. The gorilla is on an island, eats bananas, has a good time all day long, plays out there in the bushes. and. Uh, some Americans find out about the gorilla and they hear how big he is, you know. They're very impressed with the size of the beast. So they make it to the island, you know, to check out the gorilla and, and they get a, a thing and they catch him, you know. They catch the gorilla and they stick him in a boat and they bring him back to the United States and they show him off to everybody and they make a bunch of money on the gorilla and then they kill him.
Thank you very much. All right, the most inventive. Give a big hand. Come on. Ruben and the Jets, yeah. All right, thank you. We're going to be right through on the next Friday and Saturday night and every weekend thereafter. This is the concert. We'd also like to thank the Associated Students for giving us permission and helping us with the concert here. Drive carefully on your way home. Good night.